Oh, did I use a stop worm? Access well, granted. Oh, crap. From Chantel Grimes to Clint Parker. Hey, Clint. I know I'm kind of obsessive about it. Okay. Maximizing the efficiency on products is never a bad idea. Gotta earn your pay, right? Gotta earn that paycheck. Did I open this? Yes, I did. Alright, let's finish this. Oh god, I'm so out of bullets. This is gonna be so terror bad. This is not gonna go well. This is not gonna go well. Alright. Gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Literally old fashioned. Look at this thing, it's double barrel. No one uses double barrel. Don't lie to me! I don't wanna hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. Uh -oh. You didn't wanna hurt anyone. You should have stayed home tonight. <laughs> oh no! That was so that bad! bad <laughs> You're here to clean up hey. the police busting? Asshole. He thinks we're breaking the law. You should have stayed home Shut tonight. Up. All you body polluters break the laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different. Once they hear you had an AUG on your team. Uh oh. What? Busted. I found your attack dog in the factory labs. Trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Back off, uh oh. I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta. I gotta check things out. So, Mia la vieja, we'll leave. No, it. you're not. <laughs> um. You know I can't let you go with her. Stand Easy. Down, Easy. I told you. Stand down or this bitch is dead. Bullshit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this. And right now, the boss lady is my only ticket out of here. Easy. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? Actually, yeah, this is... This is pretty bad. Yeah, man. You're doing better than you think. You're still standing. And that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still. All right. I've got to exploit my advantage. And as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it, you got outmaneuvered. Come on, you're not a banger, you're a soldier. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. Right. Like I need the approval of somebody who sold his soul to the biomite industry. Whoa, easy. You know what? I'm done talking here. The sorry son of a bitch who lied to my brother messed with the wrong family. Now I'm gonna track down everybody and anybody who helped them and laugh while I rip their fucking heads off. And there ain't nothing you or anybody else in this world can do to stop me. Easy. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. He wanted you to die. Alright. As soon as you take that hostage out that doorway, snipers are gonna take you down, man. Come on. Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. 
He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage, just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn! You know, he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to hear, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got Blade here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cabron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. All right, you go find him. Keep looking, Adam. he's here somewhere. Adam, what's what happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Right. Jensen out. Let me just hack this computer real quick. Hacking, hacking, hacking. Um, fortify, capture. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate it when I do that. Oh well. Granted. Josie Thorpe's private email answer. Oh wow. Direct emails from the CEO himself. <laughs> Scout 419 at scowlingmask.nigeria. Urgent response needed. Attention the president slash CEO. Dear sir or madam, confidential business proposal. Having consulted with my colleagues and based on the information gathered from the Nigerian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer the sum of 47,500,000 credits into your account. The above sum resulted from an over invoice contract executed com commissioned and paid for about five years ago by a foreign contractor. This action, however, was however intentional, and since then, the fund has been in a suspense account. I think he means suspended account. It is important to inform you that as civil servants, we are, which is why we require your assistance. The total sum will be shared as follows. 70% for us. Uh, it's risk-free. <laughs> Transhumanism. If you find this proposal acceptable, we shall require the following documents. Your banker's name, telephone, account, and fax numbers. Your private telephone and fax numbers. And your letter-headed paper, paper, your letter-headed paper stamped and signed. Basically, they want your life's information and social security number. Oh, Nigerian scandals. At least they've learned how to tell. At least they learned how to spell. How's that working for you, buddy? Nice job securing the plant. I wouldn't have thought a security guard could handle this. Not even an augmented one. Oh, shut up. Yeah, good luck with that door, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. The target is on lockdown. I can't let anyone in. But my wife, she's still in there. I, I need to know that she's okay. You'll have to wait until the building... My wife, is she she's all right? She's fine. She's fine. A little shaken up, though. Swap will need to debrief her. We'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. <laughs> I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet. Thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Okay. All right, um, let's take a look around here, see if there's anything... Nope? Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is just wrap up this session here. I will fly back with the lovely Farida Malik. Back to Seraph Industries, uh, head to the debriefing, and as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to save the game and end it there. Um, in case I forget to say goodbye, see you guys next time.
You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New order's just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I wanna know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the Intellicams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that, all I really know is the case is still pending, and Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. 
Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. <laughs>